The next trick I don't see a lot of folks take advantage of is the corner pin top. And this can actually be used for projection mapping. So for example, if we had a movie file in top here, something with a little bit more data in it. So maybe I'll scroll down and get oil drums here. First, I can plug it into the corner pin top go to the pin page of the parameters. And then what we'll see here are coordinates for the bottom left, bottom right, top left, and top right. I could just start grabbing the value ladder and kind of adjusting those corners and bringing, you know, the bottom right towards the middle a little bit here. Let's take the top left inwards a bit and down a little bit. And we'll bring our top right in as well. Now we're talking about using this for projection mapping just because that seems to be the thing a lot of folks are doing. So even with something as simple as this, if you were really projection mapping on just some quadrilaterals, this could be a really efficient solution to that. Let's say we have three different movies that need to be on different areas of the screen. What I can do is let's say make another movie file in top, give this a different piece of content. I can create another corner pin. You know, let's say this object that I'm trying to map to is a little bit further on the right side of the screen and let's say a little bit lower and bigger as well. Great, so we can imagine that that's the second object we're mapping and then all I really have to do is composite these two together and what I'll do is I'll change the operation to maybe something like over and I could have really even a pretty complex setup made just using these corner pin tops and a composite top like this. So if you are running on kind of weaker hardware, you want to save a little bit of processing power, if you're only having to do very basic kind of quadrilateral mappings, using corner pin top could be a great way to do that.